For this video, we'll go through the steps on how to create an API with Gloop. First, create a Gloop API under the code folder of your Martini package. Since you'll be publishing your own API, select Publish, then click Next. Provide a name, Inventory, assuming your API is about an inventory. Choose whether you want to publish a REST or SOAP API. For this demo, we'll select REST and then click Next. A Gloop API can be generated from an existing API or API schema. Choose none if you want to build it from scratch. You can go through the rest of the wizard, but we'll click Finish right away. Next, we'll add a path called Products for accessing a list of products. We want this to be invocable via GET, so we'll add a GET operation and then choose the service it will invoke. In this case, it's a GET Products service. Next, we'll add a response and then set the body to the output of the service, which in this case is the products model. Martini supports an API first assigned methodology for implementing your own APIs. This is easily achievable by mocking API responses. To add a mock response, set the mock parameter to true to enable the mock data fields under the responses node. Let's add a mock body. The API will always return the mock response as long as the mock parameter is set to true. You can iterate over the design of your API until all stakeholders are satisfied. When it's finalized, simply set the mock parameter to false, and your API will call the actual implementation of the Gloop service. If you have a different server, you can take advantage of the one-liners and proxy request methods and use them on your Gloop service. Now let's take a look at how Gloop automatically makes your API discoverable to your consumers. But first, remember that a good API comes with good documentation. Ensure you have configured the necessary fields in the General and Documentation tab. The more robust your documentation is, the less questions you will get about how your API works. Now let's go to the Preview tab. This is where you can see the API schemas generated for your Gloop API. And as an added bonus, you can direct your customers to API Explorer so they could interact with your API directly. Watch the tutorial for managing APIs to learn how to secure and manage the use of your APIs. And that's how you create an API. Thank you and see you on the next video.